The walls are starting to close in on Oprah. Take a look at this news clip from 2007. The trial of a former dormitory matron charged with abusing six students at Oprah Winfrey School for Girls in South Africa is resuming. Prosecutors say former dorm matron Tina Virginia Macopo tried to kiss and fondle the girls. She's also accused of kicking and hitting some of them. Oprah allegedly handpicked the girls in the school. Everyone hears about the daddy tapes and the alleged underage activity in them. But who is supplying that? Who is participating in that? Who is grooming the people who are forced to be in those videos? Well, it all goes back to a handful of individuals. Take a listen to Oprah herself when she reacts to what happened. Do you sense any remorse at all in her voice? I was needless to say devastated and, and really shaken to my core. That's one of the coldest videos I have ever seen. It's almost like there is no soul behind the person who's talking extremely creepy stuff as Oprah continues to try to make up ground and deny what happened. But when she tries to show empathy or any amount of caring for the students involved, it just comes across as extremely out of touch and cold hearted. That right there, I think tells you everything to know as allegations continue to fly that this school was not just some sort of charity thing as Oprah claims to like to do, but rather a grooming facility where the employees and everyone participated in getting these girls ready in order for them to be used in things like the Diddy tapes, in order to be trafficked to politicians and powerful individuals within the United States government as well as across the world. Multiple letters, many accusations, multiple lawsuits, and yet the media continues to prop up Oprah as if there's absolutely nothing wrong. They're all in on it. It is one big club. These evil psychopaths are trying to take over and get as much power as possible. And they've enriched themselves massively in the process. It's only getting worse. They've taken over so many levers of power. The Diddy tapes are just the very beginning. It is finally time that we hold these people accountable for the things that they have done. And we make sure this never happens to anyone ever again. No child should have to fear for their safety. I'm Matt Wallace. Make sure to follow here on Rumble with the notifications on to stay updated in real time, and I will see you in the next video.